There are of course many different types of secrets and easter eggs in video games and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at some of the wackiest, craziest and the most ridiculous hidden vehicles and modes of transport that our video game characters can utilise to get them from point A to point B and that us the players can also use to our advantage and for our amusement as you're watching the Easter Egg Hunter. In IO Interactive's 2016 third-person shooter Hitman, it is upon the destination of Colorado where you can take on the Reptiles contract. But instead of carrying out the objectives, if you collect 10 apricots and pick up the hallucinogenic drugs from the tool shed and head up to the top floor of this house, there you can find Mr. Raptor, the toy dinosaur. There, for some bizarre reason, after feeding him 10 apricots, he will disappear. Next, head to the potting shed and pick up the quad bike keys and head to this exit where this will happen. I've got tons of respect for you guys. So next up it's Sega's Manx TT Superbike racing title which was released into the arcades in 1995 and found its way onto the Sega Saturn in 1997. A title that is based upon the world famous annual motorcycle event, the Isle of Man TT. As a tribute to the island's famous Manx sheep, the developers even added in this utterly ridiculous easter egg. It's at the transmission select screen if you pump in up up, down down, left right, Z and Y you should hear this sound. If so, then when the race starts, you'll find yourself plumped on the back of your very own sheep, while a remix version of Mary Had a Little Lamb accompanies this crazy secret. Passing the checkpoint! And if you're after another secret motorbike, then look no further than Ubisoft's Ghost Recon Wildlands and the Narco Road DLC. It's located on top of a stone arch positioned at the Santa Muerte tomb and just northeast of the Binocular Recon bonus medal, you can discover this wacky easter egg. As soon as you hear that famous rolling start and the iconic soundtrack, you know it's Daytona USA. Yeah, the game that was created by Sega AM2 and was released into the arcades between 1993 and 1994 and ported to the Sega Saturn in early 1995. Anyway, to mix things up a bit, why not head back to the main title screen and hold up and left, A, B, X and Z and then hit start to enable yourself to grab a rather different form or horsepower.
In 2003, Shiny Entertainment brought us into The Matrix, to which many would have only have known it as a single player title. And yeah, it even states that on the back of the box. But believe it or not, by utilising the game's hacking mode, which basically looks like the DOS prompt, allowed us to explore and unlock and reveal the game's hidden content, including what is, yeah, a rather clunky multiplayer option by inputting this cheat code and then scrolling through the level select option to find this secret menu, which enabled you and a buddy to duel it out across seven different stages that are home to some rather amusing characters, and particularly the ones that are home to the stage known as the alley. The award for the hardest and most time consuming easter egg on this list today goes to the one found in Sega's Fighters Megamix, a mashup of Virtual Fighter and Fighting Vipers characters and there are unlockable secret characters from other Sega franchises that can be obtained by completing each of the 9 courses that lay in wait. But the wackiest of those is actually the final secret the game has to offer up, as if you can manage to defeat all the bosses during Course H and defeat all the secret characters that you have unlocked in Course I you will be rewarded with one final very special fighter who is none other than Hornet from, yeah, Daytona, USA. In 2K's third person shooter and open world action adventure title Mafia The City of Lost Heaven, it is if you opt for the free ride extreme selection from the main menu that you can find a mysterious car, as by heading into the construction site located just to the west of the neighbourhood of Hoboken, it is here where you can pass through a secret wall and help yourself to this crusader Chromium Fedor, which for some utterly bizarre reason will begin to disappear the more it is driven. Next up, it's Avalanche Studios' Just Cause 3, where upon the north and main island in the game, it is within the region of Valdemar that you should check out this huge lake, where, and as long as you haven't downloaded any updates for the game, it is within the northeast corner, upon the shore, and hidden amongst the bushes that you can find these two rubber ducky jet skis. While in Just Cause 4, it is directly north of the International Airport that you should take some time out to explore this village. As resting behind one of the dwellings, Rico can discover a rather tiny vehicle.
Our final easter egg today and for a second look at a secret exit in the Hitman series, here's Hitman 2 and a mission set in Santa Fortuna. As if you take on the three headed serpent and complete the mission stories of Deadly Art, Half Baked, Heart of Stone, Hallowed Ground, Hungry Hippo, Undying Love, Backpacker and Submerged and kill all the remaining contracts and all in one go, it is then when you should head to this dock and look to the trees where you will find a yellow umbrella which will become Agent 47's latest means of transport.